You are listening to a Get Abstract summary of The Power of a Graceful Leader, a book by Alexis Thompson. Executive coach Alexis Thompson explains how connecting with your purpose, adopting an attitude of gratitude, and guiding people with grace will transform your life and how you lead. Her advice applies not only to managers and executives, but to anyone searching for meaning and inspiration. Exploring your inner self takes commitment, Thompson recognizes, but she argues the rewards more than compensate for the difficulties of the journey. Takeaway 1. Your journey within leads to graceful leadership. Graceful leaders understand their purpose and practice authenticity and accountability in both their professional and personal lives. Embarking on graceful leadership is challenging, but it can be one of the most important missions you'll undertake. Graceful leadership requires you to connect with the love, compassion, and authenticity of your inner self. Many otherwise kind-hearted, courteous people are nasty and obnoxious at work. Conversely, strong, decisive leaders within an office setting, particularly women, can become timid and feel powerless at home. This inability to align various aspects of your personality creates significant emotional and physical stress. Forming a complete and reliable version of yourself calls for a candid evaluation of who you are now and who you would like to become. Graceful leadership is predicated upon this self-analysis. Grace enables you to handle any situation. You can show empathy toward a team member struggling with a personal issue, and in the next minute, confidently preside over an important meeting. Graceful leaders understand their job is to serve others and help them succeed. They provide what their people need at a particular time. Takeaway 2. Committed individuals exemplify the principles of grace. Rose Macario, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and Jane Goodall exemplify graceful leadership. In 2016, Macario, CEO of Patagonia, led her company to donate every penny of its Black Friday sales revenue to environmental groups. Patagonia also initiated the War and Wear program that encourages customers to buy and sell pre-owned Patagonia clothes. King, a minister and activist, reshaped American civil rights, but never sacrificed his humanity or love for those who opposed him. In a violent and hate-filled environment, King insisted on a tolerant and peaceful approach. He demonstrated how to feel angry and act civilized at the same time. In fighting for a cause greater than himself, King proved you don't have to be bitter toward those with opposing views. Jane Goodall committed to helping the chimpanzee population in Africa and decided to live among them. She invested her emotions and her scientific expertise in fulfilling her life's purpose. Despite scientific disapproval at the time, she assigned names to the chimps instead of numbers. By integrating herself into the chimpanzee community, she conducted breakthrough research on their behaviors and personality traits. Goodall never lost her grace and humility. Takeaway 3. Grace takes leadership to another level. Grace emerges when you get in touch with your deepest emotions and bring them into your relationships. Grace enables you to venture into unfamiliar and, at times, uncomfortable territory. Author Alexis Thompson witnessed Grace firsthand in her late 20s when she worked for an organization that helped parents of missing children. A husband and wife learned of their daughter's murder, yet in the midst of their raw, indescribable grief, they showed compassion and forgiveness toward the alleged killer. The couple's attitude opened Thompson's eyes to the power of grace and inspired her own journey into gracefulness. Graceful leadership is deliberate and dynamic. You can practice it intentionally until it becomes habitual behavior. Graceful leaders must adapt to different situations. While leading from behind is admirable, graceful leaders quickly rush to the forefront in a crisis and clear the way for others. Graceful leaders aren't looking to stroke their egos or take credit. Their concern is for the people on their team. As leaders, they understand that everyone plays a role in positive outcomes. Graceful leaders may feel they already know how to overcome a particular challenge, but they patiently allow their teams to explore other possible solutions as well. Graceful leadership is an elevated form of conscious leadership which calls for a high level of self-knowledge and an ongoing desire to pursue increased awareness of yourself, others, and circumstances. 
love, and compassion are part of the essence of graceful leaders. They invoke these emotions naturally, without having to stop and think about doing so. Regardless of the circumstances, graceful leaders offer empathy to others and never cease refining themselves. Takeaway 4. Let six fundamental tenets guide you to grace. To evolve as a leader, incorporate these six principles of graceful leadership. Don't expect to master them. They are fluid and require consistent vigilance as your leadership journey unfolds. The first principle is integrating mind, body, and soul. Identify your life's purpose and align it with your actions. Write a personal vision statement to help you find clarity and overcome confusion. The process of looking deep inside your mind and soul requires commitment, determination, and time. Get in the habit of listening to your body and paying attention to its cues. The second principle is evolving, alignment of soul and self. Determine if your core beliefs and values align with your purpose in life. At times, you'll discover a misalignment between your principles and your behavior. This doesn't mean you have to be perfect, but if you become aware of any misalignment, seek to correct it. The third principle is transparency, self, and others. Graceful leaders show their true selves in how they behave and communicate. People who say one thing and do another seldom lie intentionally. They verbalize what they think they should do instead of being true to themselves. Practicing authenticity requires courage and a willingness to be uncomfortable and vulnerable. The fourth principle is connecting, self, and universe. Leaders anchored in grace understand their connection to others. They recognize how relationships shape their lives and the ripple effect their actions have on their fellow human beings. Grace is possible when you connect your mind to your heart. The fifth principle is co-creating, innovative. Graceful leaders are receptive to unconventional solutions. They entertain possibilities. Graceful leaders acknowledge the importance of assembling diverse teams with a wide range of talent and expertise. And the sixth principle is compassionately powerful in all things. Outstanding leaders are responsible, efficient, and organized. They recognize when it's time to pause, step back, and appreciate stillness. Quiet promotes introspection and opens space for appreciation and compassion. Graceful leaders fully immerse in the present while always looking toward the future. Takeaway 5. Gratitude is the gateway to self-discovery. Many leaders sabotage their professional and personal lives by focusing on the negative and failing to appreciate the positive. Gratitude provides an alternative perspective and helps you discover areas of your leadership that aren't working and fix them. Individuals who rely primarily on their intellect often struggle with gratitude because they forget that connecting with others occurs via the heart, not the head. Leaders need to go beyond relating to their people on the basis of performance and productivity. When you develop gratitude, you'll become more patient and understanding when communicating with your employees. Gratitude provides comfort in the face of significant challenges. Instead of feeling overwhelmed, you pause to appreciate the good things in your life and realize your problems aren't as big as you first imagined. The compassion you develop through gratitude makes you more empathetic and curious and less judgmental. When Thompson worked as a recruiter for the Houston Chronicle newspaper, one of the company's other papers in Seattle was going out of business. Assigned to the downsizing team, Thompson decided on her flight to Seattle to be patient and kind in dealing with those losing their jobs. Thompson believed she could help lessen their pain by being present and listening without passing judgment. Some people screamed at her in anger. Others appreciated her empathetic approach. The company fired Thompson when she returned to Houston, and no one listened to her story. It's often frightening to maintain an open heart during conversations filled with rage or resentment. It's during these moments, however, that people most require love and compassion. You become a memorable leader through your humanity. Compassion is not the same as being nice. The latter may feel good, but it's not necessarily genuine. You can use niceness to cover up a problem and avoid addressing it. Compassion always rings true, regardless of whether the moment is comfortable. Takeaway 6. Align yourself and your soul. 
If you hope to achieve alignment, it helps to understand the difference between self and soul. Self represents your ego, the sum of your upbringing, environment, and experiences. Ego shapes how you relate to others and navigate the world. Outside influences do not affect soul, which is the essence of your spiritual being. What accompanied you into the world? Soul has no agenda. The self and the soul are not in competition. One isn't better than the other. Misalignment usually occurs subconsciously as life experiences create layers that obscure your essence. For example, an athlete may be deeply compassionate by nature, but competition compels him or her to run past an injured player on the opposing team. People can spend their entire lives oblivious to this misalignment, unable to shake the nagging feeling that something is missing. Ask deep, probing questions about your life's purpose to gain insights about your soul. Graceful leaders analyze their behavior, particularly when they act contrary to their true character. For example, a normally even-tempered person who yells at a colleague may realize he or she acted inappropriately, and then can accept responsibility and commit to not letting it happen again. In striving toward alignment, consider pursuing relationships you avoided because the people seemed unapproachable or unfriendly. Your ego could be giving you inaccurate information based on previous impressions or experiences. You have nothing to lose by revisiting these potential relationships. In fact, you may gain a friend. Takeaway 7. When grace knocks on your door, open it. The catalyst for incorporating grace in your life can arise in various ways. You may have a nagging feeling deep inside that something isn't right. Or perhaps your boss tells you that your performance must improve. The source of inspiration isn't nearly as important as your commitment to act. When you decide to accept the challenge, you'll discover that things begin falling into place to assist you on your journey. Once you've identified your why, you want to determine your how, the best way for you to proceed. Online assessments such as StrengthsFinder or Myers-Briggs can tell you a lot about yourself. Professional life coaches can also help point you in the right direction. Find someone with whom you feel comfortable. Make sure to interview all potential candidates. Ask if they have coaches themselves. The good ones usually do. Anyone interested in self-improvement should be constantly learning and reading. Books, audiobooks, and podcasts can open new avenues of thought. Even books that don't fully resonate with you are likely to provide insights you'll apply at some point. Peer groups are ideal for bouncing around your ideas and soliciting feedback. Retreats offer a dynamic and intensive platform for self-realization. As you gain knowledge about yourself and how you lead, apply what you learn as part of your quest to become a more graceful leader.